I wore a red blouse. I will wear a red blouse. I am wearing a red blouse. Today's lesson is all about the present continuous tense. It's about how we discuss actions that are happening right now. For example, you are learning English. I am filming a video. The first sentence is more long term. You are in a long term process of learning English. The second sentence is more short term. This video will only last around five minutes. However, they are both happening right now, so we use the present continuous. Let's start with a basic sentence in the present continuous tense. She is eating a sandwich. Notice how we've used the verb to be in the correct form for the noun. She is, followed by the present participle of the verb with the ing suffix. She is eating a sandwich. Let's try another one. We are discussing the present continuous tense. It's what we're doing right now. Again, we have the verb to be, but this time it's the word are because the pronoun here is we, we are. Then we have the verb to discuss, but as a present participle, it becomes discussing. We are discussing the present continuous tense. The rule of using the present continuous tense is that you take the main or base verb and add ing to the end to make the present participle. Wearing, discussing, drinking. However, there are three exceptions to this rule. Exception number one. If the main verb ends in e, for example, choose, in this case, we take the E away and replace it with ING. So it's not choosing, it's choosing. Shine becomes shining and debate becomes debating. Got it? Let's move on. Exception number two. If the main verb ends in IE, for example, tie, in this case, the IE becomes a Y, and then we add the ING. I'm just tying, T-Y-I-N-G, my shoes. Lie becomes lying, and die becomes dying. Exception number three. If the letter pattern of the last three letters of the verb is consonant, vowel, consonant, it becomes Consonant, vowel, double consonant, ing. Sounds a bit confusing. For example, the verb to shop ends in consonant, vowel, consonant, s-h-o-p. So we change this pattern to consonant, vowel, double consonant, ing. <laughs> so we add an extra p and an ing, s-h-o-p-p. I-N-G. The verb to swim becomes swimming. The verb to step becomes stepping. So let's recap. There is one rule with three exceptions when we use the present participle. The rule is that we add I-N-G to the end of the verb. Exception number one, if the verb ends in E, we remove the E and replace with I-N-G. Exception number two, if the verb ends with I, I, we replace the I <laughs> and put in a Y and the ING. Exception number three, if that verb ends in the pattern consonant, vowel, consonant, we double up the last consonant before we add ING. <sighs> Got that? <laughs> So what are you doing right now? Let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next lesson. This one's a good one. I'll see you soon.